the DJ, DJ Vatican. Can't be a stay away too long. Cali, Cali, Swag, Swag, District, District. I was gone. What is that? DJ DJ Vatican. But this time let me tell you where I'm at. It's Cali Swag District on the DJ Vatican Conference Call. Cali Cali Swag Swag District. District. The DJ Vatican Special Guest. Let's give him a Vatican hand. Yep. Please welcome Cali Swag District. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, very, very. Kelly Swag, this would be like to welcome you to the call, to the DJ Vatican conference call. And um, why don't we go around and introduce everybody, introduce themselves, just name and market only, okay? I'm going to start off. My name is Michael Tom London. I'm in Montgomery, Alabama. Hey, hey, Hustle Sin is up here in Boston. Harold Banks, Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, Hustle Sin, what's up? Hey, 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 Name, Tom LaRock, South Beach, Miami. Trust Nova. Hey, Bay Area. One Nova time, Dose, please. DMV. Nova Dose, DMV. Steve Needy Maestro, Midwest Overlord. Word up. Uh, DJ Jelly, Jelly. ATL. Jelly. 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 DJ Jam. Right, right, in California. DJ Jam. Jam. What's up, buddy? Dr. B, Milwaukee, V100, and B, Jenny's like Milwaukee Bucks. The remix, I know y'all. Rory Mack, Las Vegas. DJ Illegal, Canada. What's up, y'all? This is Kate Sly, representing Los Angeles. DJ <laughs> Devonair, also representing Los Angeles. DJ Latin wow. LA, California, man. Latin Twins, yeah. the president. El Presidente. LP. DJ Dr. Doom, Duval, Jacksonville, Florida. What up? Okay, anybody else, fellas? That's everybody and ladies. No, I heard Alex G back there. I'm a rep for you, Al. Alex G, Violator, All Stars in Bakersfield. He tried to chime in, and, and Charles was speaking. Also, if you missed that, because they were talking at the yeah. same time, I heard Charles Dixon represent New Jersey yeah. in New York. Kelly Swag one District, more. why don't you um, introduce yourselves one by one, real quick? Okay. All right, for sure. I am. They be like smooth. The general, you know what it is, man. Hey, what up? And what's the deal? It's your boy Young, a.k.a. Mr. Swag himself. Ain't what it up. I go by JR okay. Third, listen to the group. Ain't what it up. Cali, Cali, Swag, Swag, District, District. The record was marinating a good while before you all got picked up by Capital, man. Why don't you give us a little bit on the evolution of that, man? How did that all come about? It's crazy. I mean, it was just a, a nonstop grind process. We. We just performed everywhere we could. We did everything we could to make sure people heard this song. We tweet radio stations and, and go to little kids' parties. And we did everything possible, you feel me? And we was real big with this YouTube thing. So, I mean, within seven months, Capital jumped on it and we ran with it. Yeah, man. Definitely a good look. And uh seemed like y'all getting ready to break ground with this other song, too, man. It's Where You Are with Michael Jackson. And I know that's real big, too, man, because y'all actually got cleared to use the original uh, vocal content instead of actually using the sample, man. Why don't you uh, let everybody know about that? I mean, I re- it really ain't much. Lewis, Lewis made that happen. I mean, we all, he, he first he let us hear with, his, with just the sample. We did our verses, it was all good, but he came back, it was like he had the, the he got the clearance to use the original vocals, and it was all good. I mean, we don't really know too much of the process or how he made it happen, but he did it. Okay, maybe I could shed a little light on that, because what he was telling me, was that I guess uh, you know they're getting ready to reissue a, a, a whole bunch of Michael's uh, you know classics and and I guess he got some new unreleased stuff too and they just felt that you know giving you guys the clearance for that particular sample man would be a good segue into drawing uh, you know Michael's audience to you know a whole new audience with you cats man just based on the success of what you all doing with your movement so. Um, Really, really thought that that was a good combination, man. So that's a good look for you cats going in to even get an endorsement by, you know, a heavyweight like that, man. Because them cats usually don't release them samples like that. For real. I mean, really? that's, that's, that's big for y'all coming in, man. I mean, that's a crazy look. The DJ J Vatican. 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 It's Cali Swag District on the DJ Vatican conference call. Cali, Cali Swag, Swag District. District. You know what's crazy about this Michael Jackson, and, and uh, I don't know if you guys got kids, but 
Michael is like a new artist to these kids that are like. Mm-hmm. So you know, when I heard the when I heard the the Cali Swag Team using "Where You Are," I'm like, they're doing nothing but breathing advice back into what these kids are already thinking that Mike's a new artist. They like mm-hmm. I got a couple of seven year old nephews, man, that have won like Michael Jackson contests out here. Right. They like that, every time something come on TV with Michael, they are glued to the TV. So yeah, you right. know that was a, that was that was brilliant for you guys to pick up on that. That's gonna just keep you guys going all the way through Christmas with this record. That's the oh, way man. it be. That's the way hip hop yeah, used to be back in the day when yeah. they stick you up yeah, there yeah. and sample. Until Biz and, uh, and Marley got caught out there, and then it got to be wow. crazy. But before that, it was they about got... sampling and, and, and bridging the generations from one sound to the next, you know, from the 70s to the 80s, and then the publishers got greedy, and they wanted to shut everyone down, so I'm glad that they're opening it back up. But there's a lot of Michael samples out there, which is great. Yeah, and Mike, sure thing. If, 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 if Mike's allowing people to sample the stuff, that's definitely going to have other people like say, well, damn, shit. If he's doing it, we can do it too. Then. Yeah, his, it's, a, it's a new group. It's a new pe- group of people running his estate, so it's not just Michael, because Michael was like no to everything before. So this is a good thing. Go. Prince was the same of, way. If you kind of think about it, it's kind of kind of reminiscent of the James Brown era when we were all going growing up. Exactly. You know, listening to like the funky drummer and everybody else sampling all the all the James exactly. Brown stuff. So, you know, as a kid, as a kid, Michael always wanted to follow in James Brown's footsteps. Absolutely. So apparently, he's still continuing that. That's a brilliant mm-hmm. analogy. I got to remember that. That's so true. That's that's the yeah. realest thing I just heard today. Cali, Cali, swag, swag, district, district. All right, fellas, let's send it around the room if anyone has any questions. You know, one-on-one, let's keep it short so everyone everyone gets uh, a little bit of shine here. But, but uh, you know, definitely Bill. This is Steve Miggity Maestro. Shot time. What's going on, you fellas? What's going on, man? Man, listen. You know, I like to. I'm I'm a lot into history when it comes to things. When it comes to shit, like how did you all how did you all get together to get to form Cali Swag in the first place? You dig what I'm saying? How do we put the uh, group together? Yeah, absolutely. Oh uh, well, we actually we uh we grew up together. Like we we was all doing our own things individually. Like Smooth, he was DJing. Uh, M Bone, he been dancing forever. Like at all the clubs and stuff. And Jr, he was uh. Rapping since uh, tenth grade, and I was doing my uh, my solo thing on the side, and we ended up at the same place at the same time. Like, uh, Smooth ended up coming to the studio with me, and Jr. ended up coming in. We just Smooth said he had a beat, and we ended up doing a song. Like, it was the first song, a song called Dirt Talk. We ended up doing that, and Big Y looked at all of us and was like, "This is the group that I've been looking for." So he just put us together and called us the Cali Swag District. Okay. Yeah. So we basically, we, but we've been friends for like forever. Like right now, we like brothers. The DJ J Vatican. 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 Is, is it like any questions y'all want to ask us, man? Because hey, this is this is a great opportunity, man, to really let cats know, you know, what's on your minds, what we can definitely do for you to make you know your situation better with with all of us as a collective, man. I mean, y'all doing your thing. I mean, there's really nothing for me to want to know because I know what's going on. So it's like, just keep supporting and we, we, we fucks with y'all. We appreciate everything y'all doing for me. I mean, there's a lot of people on the phone and there's a lot of markets and y'all all, everywhere we've been, every market that I've heard, we've been there. So, and we see the results when we put on our show and everybody's knowing our music and it's because of y'all. So we appreciate it. For real, for real. Like, thank y'all. Cali, swag. District. Yeah, man. Like so we, we really appreciate everybody, man, coming on. Definitely taking time to chop it up with us, man. And we definitely wish y'all continued success, man. Definitely keep us close, man. We're going to keep y'all close as well. For sure, man. We appreciate it for real. Yeah. And much All right, much y'all. Hey, we, we got to definitely give them the, the, the proper Vatican outro, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, all about keeping it fresh, man, and, and definitely y'all, you definitely got a fresh concept of, you know, what y'all doing, man. The kids love it. You know, I got a daughter myself, man, so, you know, it's, it's kind of nice to, to know that she definitely getting her doggy on also, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say I know y'all like that, man. When you guys want to come talk to the radio DJs, you got 70, 75 guys here on this phone. 
represent, you know, the biggest markets in the country. You got the inside lane, man. We'd like to invite you to be a part of our family, just like the Marshall family is a part of our family. And, you know, thank you for, for supporting us when we, you know, recognizing us when we're out there in the field playing your records. To reach out to, you know, Roy McAllister or any of us, if you have something that you want to address to the DJ, we're here to help you with that. That's all. We appreciate it, man. We're going to keep you all in Hey, feel right, free gentlemen. to hang on, man. If y'all just want to chop it up, you know, we definitely going to get back into the business, man, you know, but uh, we appreciate yeah, we y'all it. definitely yeah. getting on, man, for sure. The DJ J Vatican. The DJ Vatican talks about the music industry, insights, insights predictions, predictions trends. trends. The DJ Vatican. Well, we take it back to the 80s. In 85, everybody hated the radio. No one listened to the radio in 85. Club music True. comes from the music that was playing in the club. The club now is new internet. Yeah. We used to call that radio music. If your song was on a radio, you was almost whacked back in 84, True. 85, early True. 80s. <laughs> True. You had all that Italian, South Soul music coming and you had Italian disco and then you had like craft work from Germany in 77 True. with numbers and Zulu beats came that from that club music is what did it now we can just that's we can go on for days that's what radio honestly right yeah and it wasn't until around early 90s when the labels were so whacked that they started picking up all the indie labels you think about it in the mid to late 80s you had hip hop R&B, house music, dance music, DC go-go, Latin freestyle, dance hall reggae. That was all independent shit. The majors just had, like, the major shit. So all of the hot music that we love today was just picked up by the majors. Profile Records got picked up by Arista. Def Jam got picked up by Columbia. And then they left and they went to Mercury. And that's our Universal. I mean, the whole history is, is right there. And the cycle's coming back again. Oh, and yeah. All that's what I, now. I, I definitely back. say it now. Because all the, all the great music's coming out of the indies. It, but that's how it was before. Yep. That's, it's so funny. Right. 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 Generations right. always think that Mike. something's new, but it's really not new. That's the same cycle and lifestyle that already happened before. And, the, and if you mm. really look at it and see how it's all coming back, like all the dance music coming back, electronic ain't number Euro disco. We've been there. Oh, dang. It's so it's like a, but it's a cycle. France and what's happening in Italy, it's like the 80s is coming back strong. In a big way. The only difference is kids today are so brainwashed by the media. It's like, I am strictly hip-hop. I only like this. I only like that. Mm -hmm. We was mm -hmm. DJing back in the day. We had to play every single format in one night. It's like, we could play whatever. The, the, the original DJ Vatican. The original DJ Vatican. Established in 1992.